coming up to the final preliminary heat of the day. That was your five minute gun and now it's time to go racing. Here is who will be racing Heat 3B, 3B presented by Seafair and Graham Trucking. In the pain west is going to be Brian Perkins in the 21 in the 99.9 .9 car star KISW. Miss Rock is driven by our rookie Aaron Salmon. And in the 1918-0, Boyle Alberto Cal Phipps. But what we're hearing is the 440 bucket list may or may not make it out. So we'll be looking to see if that bright orange bucket list racing makes it out with Dustin Eccles behind the wheel. Brad Luce, let's bring him around the course and show him what's going on. Three minutes and 50 seconds to the start. Four boats hoping to answer the bell, but it appears now the U440 bucket list racing with Dustin Eccles is indeed not going to answer the call. Aaron Salmon is, however, and he's not late to the party, but he cannot come out of the pit area from the west side and come out hard because he's got to turn to the right. So as we've seen all the years in the past, these turbine hydroplanes, when they come out of the pit area on the west side, they come out slowly, turn to the right, and then they can get on it and snap it up on a plane. We had one of our boats cut the race course. I believe that was Calvin. And look at that beautiful oh, paint Calvin job. There, they so. just got that paint job put on last weekend for the Alberto. It is the 100 year anniversary and it, she is shining. This might be a very interesting heat here between Brian Perkins and Cal Phipps. A couple of boats that were very close on the qualifying ladder. A couple of boats that have been very even all day long. I know there's been a lot of conversation between those two teams. And I think there's been some gamesmanship between the two of them about, ah, no, you, you can beat us on the inside or you can beat us on the outside. But we're going to find out right now. Perkins, a very accomplished driver here as he comes down to the lower end of the course with 2.30 on the clock. Here comes Aaron Salmon. He's going to come down too. How aggressive do you want to get, Cal? You want to run across the race course? I think he's too late to go across and get in. Cal's cutting through. Stay close to the buoy. Pick him up. You got the 99 right there on your hip too. Of careful. Yeah, that careful. was. <laughs> we had that little incident down in Gunners. 99 coming up alongside of me. He's got about half again boat speed on you coming to your door. Going on by. Cal's going on by. Got to let him go, I guess. Fair. Albert Lee, we are on the last preliminary heat. This is where it all comes down to till we get to the final, Brad. And look at these boats all getting side by side. In the back, it looks like we've got some game plans going on. They are side by side. And look who your leader is coming down the front stretch. Yeah. 99 in front of you, Perkins inside. Perkins just got himself on the inside. Cal is trying to make sure he's got room in two. And is Salmon going to run on the Outside, or is he going to move? Oh, he's going to. He's is, if he moves to the left, he could conceivably move Calvin to the outside. We'll have to watch as they go through. We're still early here with 120 until the start, and Cal just went to the outside. I think he'll go deep. A little early. Just now at the entrance buoy. Now. 110. And So these guys are really early going up the backstretch here. I like where Brian Perkins is. Now he's trailing the boat so the other two boats can move to the inside. You can go out, you need to waste some time. You can move out, move back in. And they have to go wide at the top end of the course just to drive and cover more territory and eat up some more time. Still 35 seconds. You do not want to be at that entrance buoy before 20 seconds. And right now they are at 28 seconds and they are there. And you're going to see there's a yellow helicopter that is above turn number two. They are looking down onto these boats and watching that beacon and they are counting the seconds down. But as I say that, the rooster tails are coming up. Drivers are making their way down to the start finish line. Bradley's Ten. bringing them across the start finish line. 10 seconds, they've got them lined up. We're inside. Six, five, four, three, two, one, mark. 
3B presented by Graham Trucking and they are coming down three wide and Aaron Salmon on the outside is going to get down here with Cal Phipps but watch Brian Perkins he's been in lane one all weekend Kay. and they are still side by side and they are within feet of each other but check out that Alberto shiny brightly taking over the lead over Brian Perkins and we're finding out it was a good start Brad Luce keep pedaling keep pedaling Leave your burger, believe your room to get in. Got three, maybe four boat links on Perkins. Now watch Perkins. See if he can gobble him up on that inside track. Watch Perkins. He's been painting the buoy. Look at Phipps. Hold him in tight. That's what you're supposed to do. Great corner up there for Cal Phipps. Don't give him any more room than you have to. Make Perkins scruff off enough speed that he can't run hard through that corner. But it's still a very good race. And it is Cal Phipps coming down. He's got the lead. Got about five boat lengths as we start lap number two. Yes. Perkins still on the inside. But he must have seven boat lengths in front of him before him before Cal can come over and take him. About a rooster tail on him, but leave him room. He's still there. You're pulling him. Very easy. As they come down the back stretch, they're giving the log boom a show with that Alberto bow trailing shortly behind. But I think he's got his seven boat lengths. Brad Luce, we're going to have to see if he takes over lane number one going into turn two. I don't think he's going to do it. I think he's going to leave Brian a lane. Right now, with the way this heat is playing out, there's no reason for him to take a chance with the referee. And Perkins just went to the outside, but it had nothing to do from my way of seeing it. It had nothing to do with Cal Phipps. He had left him a lane in there. White flag flies. One to go. And it is all Cal Phipps now because Perkins couldn't hold the inside line at the top end of the race course. Radio man to Cal Phipps says you got it. Just bring the boat home and do it in one piece, Kay. That would be his owner of that boat that's talking to Cal Phipps. That would be Charlie Wiggins telling that Alberto driver of Cal Phipps. You the lap all by yourself. Go where you want to. Find good water. 10 to 15 boats behind you. Let's ride it all the way to the checkered flag. A half a lap to go. Your leader, Cal Phipps in the Alberto 1918. Top end of the race course for the last time. Calvin Phipps gonna get a heat victory here. If he can just bring home the Alberto, he slides it out wide to about lane number three. He will come down, look to his right. Checkered flag flies. Every driver in every type of motorsports drives to see that flag. First place finish here, Calvin Phipps driving the Alberto beef jerky. A great run for the young man. And here comes Perkins. He's gonna come down. He will pick up second place. There's no way, no way. Second place finishes, and he comes down to the lower corner here and passes Cal, and a great run for Aaron Salmon, driving the 99.9 car star powered Miss Rock. Three started, at three will finish. Aaron Salmon picking up 225 points. So we will have to add up all of our points between all of this weekend's preliminary heats to see who exactly will be in the final.